Chip and Evan, Danielle and Remy, the Dream Team, Southwestern Pennsylvania Rural Exploration Blog. We're back, baby, and we're bringing you something that we talked about a long time ago. Now, the more you get to know Evan and I, the more you know we talk a lot, but don't always follow up on what we're talking about. But today we are. <laughs> we are near Pittsburgh, PA. Actually, we're near Bridgeville, PA. And where we're at today is the site of the former Pittsburgh International Dragway. Now, the reason that we're down here is because A, it's cool and we want to see what's still there. B, we went to the stats portion of our blog and we looked at what people are looking at. And one of the highest uh, hit receivers that we have is the old pictures of the dragway at uh, Pittsburgh. Um, my father and uncle raced here 1964, 1965, which was relatively close to the beginning of the drag strip. Uh, as far as I know, this was a former airfield. Um, and they used it as a drag strip from 64 to 1976, <laughs> just about. Um, there is a locked gate here. However, we have uh, received permission from a gentleman down the road to head on up and take some pictures and everything. Uh, just want to add a little disclaimer here, like we always try to do um, with a lot of urbex sites, uh, these exploration sites. It's covert. People are sneaking in places. Anytime we can, we receive permission. We ask folks, you know, we explain to them what we're doing here. We're not uh, looking for trouble, going to steal anything. We're just looking to take some pictures. And nine times out of ten, when you talk to folks, they're cool and they're all right about it. Uh, the fellow down the road actually uh, was going to look for a key to let us in, but we're feeling adventurous today and we're going to walk. So let's go. Chip and Evan, Danielle and Remy. <laughs> What's the matter, Danielle? We found it, man. This is the former site of the Pittsburgh International Dragway. Uh, from 1964 to 1976, this was the spot in the greater Pittsburgh area for race fans and hot rodders for hot drag strip action. Uh, my father, Harold Gooseman, and my uncle Tim, Tim Gooseman, raced down here in 1964 and 1965. Racing continued here, like I said, till 1976. Um, and this is it. It was a former airfield, Campbell's Run, is that right, Evan? Campbell. Campbell something airfield. Anywho, nobody cares about the fact that it was an airfield. It was a drag strip, baby. Um, classic. When you think of drag strips and you think of the classic, you know, late 60s, 70s car culture, the hot rods and all that, right here is where it was, man. All kinds of races ran down here. Uh, we parked, we've walked a good way to get here. Um, we're actually going to walk this runway and see if we can see anything remaining of it other than the strip itself. Um, you can see this from the satellite maps. Now, what's weird about this is if you look on Google Maps or Bing Maps, at one end of this runway, there's a business. It looks to be like a um, construction company or whatever, but it's not here. So whether it was here and it's gone now, or we had know. the wrong I don't know, but location. This is, but this has got to be it because we're in the middle of nowhere. I mean, there's no highways around. There's nothing. But this giant strip of concrete and the guy in the house and the guy in the house telling us that this is where it was so cars we lined out. up for miles yep and you could actually if you could get where we entered if you could get if that gate was open you could drive a car out here so uh do you think this is original no i think that is uh people who snuck up here after the fact and were racing but that start give me confidence that we're in the right place because the reason that this is easy to see that it was a former airstrip rather than a road is because there are no buildings, there are no other roads, there's no sidewalks, there's no poles, it's just a big strip of concrete. So we're going to head down and uh, see what's here. Okay. Go. Chip, Evan, Danielle, and Remy, we are what we think is the site of the por former Pittsburgh International Dragway. Hello. Now, we're a little confused because we've been looking at our GPS and our maps and the Keep former airport is actually up this hill a little bit. But this is a giant concrete strip in the middle of nowhere that looks an awful like a lot like a dragway to us. There's no business at the end. There's no, there's nothing out here. Uh, when we came up the Red Dog and Gravel Road walking toward this, we did pass some old coal mine machinery and stuff that looks like it's been there since who knows how long. 
So what we're doing is we're getting a shot of the area surrounding this uh, strip because it kind of resembles the pictures my dad has from 64 and 65 of the drag strip. Now there are some pieces of guardrail that remain. Uh, there's an occasional post, um, you know, stuff that looks like something was here at some time. But as far as we can tell, this is not uh, Campbell Airport. So we are actually going to head back and go up the hill to this, see if that's it or maybe... Well, acor I don't know. according to the map, this is Campbell's, Campbell's Road, okay. Campbell's Run Road. On the GPS, the road over this direction, which looks like another very, very straight stretch, is marked Campbell's Airport Road. Okay. So... Looks like but, it just ends right there. But that's the thing, is this has got to be a strip. Um, it may not have been the racetrack, but the thing is, I mean, look at it. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's not a road. There's no, I mean, there's a gravel road that runs along it, but there's no exits on ramps, poles, houses, buildings, you know. Yeah. And I'm kind of curious as to what's down at that end. Because I know that at the dragway, you know, they had a, a slight grade at the end where the cars would come off and decelerate. So this may be the track. This may not be. So what we're going to do is head back out and go to the other location. We'll get some stuff there. We'll compare the two. We're going to find it today. It's either this one or the other one. Um, but they are relatively close together. If this wasn't a racetrack, they missed a good opportunity for it to be a racetrack. Judging from the marks people have painted on it, I would assume that there's still some... Uh, clandestine racing that goes on up here but uh like i said from the pictures i have on the blog from the 60s this kind of looks like it but uh we're gonna go find out for sure okay wonder Wonder if those guys that have the reunion come up here and they were marking off where stuff was. I'll bet you this is it. Yeah. Yeah. And that one's this generator. 